All right, it is the end of September. Tomorrow is the first day of October. And in February, I moved to New York City. It's where I am right now. I'm in Brooklyn. My wife and I moved up here in February. And our primary reason for moving here was to start a church. You see, whenever we lived in Oklahoma, we had a ministry called The Noise that did worship nights in Oklahoma City. And what we did was we brought together churches from all over the city and put together a band made up of different worship leaders and musicians from different churches. And our goal was just to bring everybody together from the entire city, as many people as we could, just to worship. That was it. And I would get questions all the time, like, what, what is your purpose? Like, why do you do these events? What's the goal? What's the end game? Like, is there a shadow mission? That kind of thing. And I'm like, no. The only reason we're doing this is so that we can worship together, just to bring churches together to worship. Whenever, whenever I first felt like God was calling me to do this, one of the main things I felt like he was speaking to me was that churches don't do things together enough, or even at all in some cases depending on what denomination you're a part of or, or what organization you're from, like you just didn't associate or do anything with other churches and that's a problem. And the problem with that is we're all supposed to be a part of the same church. We're all a part of the big picture church, not individual organizations or buildings or anything like that, but the big picture church. And so the noise, the reason behind it was to bring all of those churches together to help us realize that we are a part of the same church, that we do worship Jesus, just like the guy down the street. And it doesn't matter what your background is, where you're from, what church you go to, it, it's not important. What's important is that we all love God, that we all love Jesus, and that's why we got together to worship. So that was my answer to the question. Why? Just to worship. And about three years ago, we really felt like this was the direction that we were being moved, that God was moving us out of Oklahoma into New York to start a church here. And I had no idea what that looked like. I didn't know the first thing about starting a church and I'm still, I'm not an expert on this thing, but this is what we are here to do. We are here to start a church. And whenever we got here in February, we were full steam ahead. Like we were doing this thing. Like we have a YouTube channel for the church and I'll link that below as well as at the end of the video and you should definitely check out what we have going on over there and there's gonna be more stuff to come very soon but we were we were doing it and the only thing that we knew how to do because there were only and still are really only three of us here myself my wife and our friend Dylan who you've seen a couple of times on the vlog with only three of us our idea was like well what do we do how do we start how do we get this thing off the ground well we had cameras and we have YouTube so we started there. We started making videos for YouTube to kind of document the process of, okay, we moved from Oklahoma, now we're in New York, we're gonna start a church. This is the process, this is how it's happening. And we started meeting people and getting involved with other ministries, getting involved at the Bowery. We've met some friends and, and it's been great. It's been going really well. And it was going really well up until May. And May was a nightmare. It was the worst time of my life. And what happened, um, and I, I can put a link to the video to explain the whole thing, because I did make a video for it after the fact, but in May, my 19-year-old brother committed suicide. And I was devastated. It was like we were moving at this incredible pace and everything was going well, and even he had expressed interest in coming up here and being a part of what we were doing and being a part of the church and felt like he was being called here. And then out of the blue, he takes his own life. And that completely wrecked my world. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what was next. I was basically just immobilized for the next two months and had no idea what was even happening. And, and, and it's still, a huge shock like I still think about it sometimes and it doesn't even seem real but but it happened and I'm having to deal with it and I'm having to move forward with what we're doing and and part of starting this vlog was a little bit of therapy while at the same time knowing that doing something like a daily vlog would be beneficial for the business and the church by bringing attention to it and having something out there every day that in some way was either talking about the business or the church or something that was going on in our lives to try to build momentum and gain attention for that thing. But the interesting part about all of this is that 
it's really slowed me down and it brought me almost to a complete halt of like what what is even the point of what we're doing and can i do this can i actually pull this off can i plant a church can i start a church in new york city is this crazy is this the worst idea i've ever had should i keep going and i even did my brother's memorial service i preached and i led worship and i gave this message of love and tolerance and patience and kindness and all of these things that god presents to us and gives us through what Jesus did by dying on the cross and taking on our sin and taking on all of our shame and, and taking all that stuff away from us so that God can see us as his children, as his pure, beautiful, amazing, perfect children. And, and that message wasn't me. It was definitely God speaking through me and it was powerful. And it wasn't anything that I did, but it was just the word of God. It was just the truth. It was just the gospel, which is the truth of Jesus Christ, the good news of what Jesus did. And even presenting that message to everyone as well received as it was, it was really hard not to feel like something was missing because it was, like my brother was gone. He was not with us anymore and I didn't know how to handle that. And he used to vlog. He didn't daily vlog, but he would vlog. He would make videos. He was an incredibly creative guy, super creative, super smart, just, it's so painful to think about what he could have become and then he just gave up. And so now, here I sit, it's almost October, I've been here since February, and I'm supposed to be starting a church. And there are days, there are times, where all I want to do is give up. All I want to do is stop even thinking about starting a church because it's too overwhelming. It's too painful to think about moving forward after something so terrible had happened. But the beauty of who God is, is that even in that moment, whenever I feel like giving up and I'm basically telling him I'm done, I don't wanna do this anymore, he softly and gently reminds me, I'm here with you. I'm not gonna leave you. I didn't call you to New York to start a church to watch you fail. What happened with your brother was not my plan. It was not my will, but I am gonna use it to strengthen you, to strengthen your message and your ministry that I'm giving you, and to reinforce that calling that I've placed on your life. And that reminder that he's always here, that he's always right next to me, carrying me whenever I can't walk, and leading the way is so comforting and it's everything that I need. It's the only thing I need. It's the the rock and the anchor that I hold on to that keeps me grounded and keeps me focused on what's supposed to be going on here and just how important it is for me to not give up. New York City is in desperate need of the love of God. This country is in desperate need of the love of God, the true love of God, the love of God that cannot be taken away, that cannot be stolen, that cannot be removed with anything. The love of God that we cannot be separated from. The love of God that was so big, so great, that he was willing to give his son as a sacrifice and a way for us to come back to him. The love of God that doesn't care where you've been, what you've done, or who you think you are. Because in his eyes, you are his child and you always will be, and there's nothing that can change that. And I've been worried about sharing this. I've been worried about opening up on this vlog, on this channel, in these videos, and really telling you what's going on behind the scenes. Because as far as some of you know, this stuff never happened. You didn't know about it at all. But now you do. I'm showing you, I'm presenting this to you, I'm telling you this is the backstory. This is what's been going on over the last six months or so since we've moved here. And this is what has brought us to this place. And it's not gonna stop us. It's not gonna change what we're doing. It's only gonna strengthen our resolve and our desire to push forward, to see this city changed, to see this country changed through the love of God. And all we wanna do is show that love to you and everyone that we come in contact with. And I wanna encourage you, if you know that love, if you already know that love of God, then share it with those around you. Don't be afraid. 
So you're about to see some new stuff on this channel. You're about to see more of what's going on with the church, more interaction with people that, that we've been talking to about helping us out with the church, and more details about what we're doing. And I didn't even intend to talk about this today. This is not what I planned on talking about, but it's what I needed to talk about. It's what I needed to share. It's, it's, a, it's a reminder for me of why I'm here, and hopefully it's an encouragement to you that, that your life has a purpose and your life has a meaning, and it's not all for nothing. That there's a reason why you're here. There's a reason that you are who you are. So come back tomorrow. We're going to have more, more something going on. More vlogs, more videos, more discussions. I can't wait to see where this goes. I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about this because I'm finally... I'm finally putting all the pieces of the puzzle together for what I want this channel to be and what this channel needs to be. And uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good and I think... I think you should come back. I think you should stick around. I think you should subscribe and be a part of this because it's bigger than a YouTube channel. It's bigger than a YouTube video. It's something more. It's something... I don't know. Like, that's all I can describe it as. It's something bigger. And I, and I think you should be a part of it. I want you to be a part of it. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Know that you're loved. I love you. And God loves you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.